What's up, y'all? It's your girl, True Siri 1111 back with another video. <clears throat> we're going to switch it up. You know, we're going to do some love videos. What do you have to look forward to in love for the month of October? Okay. So, who's ever energy I'm picking up on, you just feel like you're in a stuck place. You feel stuck, you know. You, you want to know who can you run to. When you need love, all right? You could be so busy out here loving others. You you want that love in return, okay? You you in a um, place where you just, you need love, all right? Spirit, what zodiac sign is this love reading going to uh, resonate with? What do they have to look forward to in love? In October. You like, is there a place for me? So you're feeling lost. You know? Spirit, what zodiac sign is this reading going to resonate with? Alright, we have Earth. Okay. So when you're dealing with Earth, you just you're looking for stability. You want to feel secure. Alright. You also want to feel abundant. Alright. You could be an earth sign. You could have earth placements in your chart. No. Spirit, what zodiac sign is this reading going to resonate with, please and thank you? You fill in a void. You fill in an empty place. Leo. You're in a place you need love, you know. You could be feeling lonely at the time. You just don't know who to turn to, Leo. Okay. I need love. You feeling like you need love. Okay. Give me some messages for this Leo. If it's not your story, don't try to make it fit. Okay. When you read energy, the rose could be reversed. If it's not your energy I'm picking up on, it's the person you're thinking about, all right, or the person you've been around, all right? So we have the four swords, all right? So, Leo, you need to get some rest, all right? You need to recuperate for something, from something, okay? And you need to um, do, do, like, some meditation and stuff. You could be recovering from some type of conflict, um, Leo, or some type of illness. Okay, we have the Eight of Swords in the Tower. Okay. So, Leo, you, you keep yourself stuck in a self-imposed prison, all right? Um... You could be bonded to the situation too. Okay. Whatever situation this is, you keeping yourself stuck there. But you're about to have a tower moment, all right? Something unexpected is about to happen for you, um, or to you, Leo, all right. Some type of chaos, all right? Or some type of anger release, okay? So, mm, you about to be blown away by something, okay? Yeah. It could be dealing with someone from your past life. We have the Six of Cups here. It could be uh, one of your exes, past life soulmate, a friend you knew when you were younger. So, Leo, you could feel like you seem you have everything, but you're still lonely. You have no one to share it with. You could have all the expensive cars, all the money, but none of that shit matter if you don't have this love, all right? You're starting to see that without someone in your life, and I'm feeling like it's a certain someone. You've been with this person before. You feel like you're incomplete without this person, okay? So we have kings on the keys on the ring, and we have the Grim Reaper in the reverse. Okay. 
So, yeah, you could be giving someone their keys back because some type of relationship is over. That could have been a sour moment, Leo. You're gonna, something going to cause you to give someone keys back or take your key back. All right, it's going about to be some chaos. You're going to have a tower moment, and it's going to cause you to be angry. All right, we have seduction, attraction, flirting, hooking up. You could have been just, you could have hooked up with someone. Could have been an earth sign, Leo. All right, Spirit, clarify this four of swords, please, and thank you. Clarify the four of swords. Thank you. Yeah, the reason why you're feeling like this or you're going to go through this tower moment, this chaos, or you something causing you to be angry, all right, it's because it's a karmic relationship, okay? This person know your triggers, like, you're trigger easy, okay? But I think you're going to end up letting this go and start loving on yourself, okay? Because you could be ascending, all right? Transcending obstacles, learning expansion, new phase, preparing for union. So once you close this cycle out with this karmic relationship, then you start your healing process, and then you call in the person you're destined to be with, all right? But you got to end the cycles with this karmic relationship because this karmic relationship, Leo, was causing you to stay stuck. Eight of Swords, Spirit. Why is this Eight of Swords here? Why do you feel like they in a self-imposed prison, Spirit? Why is this Leo in a self? Thank you. So we have Cupid's arrow and we have both. All right. You need to have faith that love is coming. All right. Get out of this. Whatever happened to you, if you are hurt, whatever the situation is that's holding you back. Excuse me. Um, you need to let it go. Some type of surprise is going to come after you let go of this karmic relationship. You could be meeting someone. Right, and the universe is going to give you what you need, receiving what you need. All right, but you got to get out of this self imposed prison. You, know? you got to start progressing, moving forward, selling away from negativity, low vibing people, low vibing relationships. What's this tower moment? Something's going to happen really fast. This tower moment is going to cause a sudden change. Okay? Whew. Yeah, Leo. You about to get some shocking news. Or you could have gotten this. These readings could be past, present, future. You know your story, so you know when this happened in your life. You know, I don't know when it happened. But it could have happened or it couldn't happen. It could be about to happen in the near future. Okay? But you have some type of epiphany, all right? This is going to force you to go through some type of transformation. Remember, we had ascending, all right? And we have the snake. Mm -hmm. So whoever you're dealing with in this karmic relationship is a snake. They could have had you looking over your shoulder, all kind of shit, looking... Watching your back, you know what I'm saying? And we have the dragonfly. Be lighthearted, finding out things coming to light. Adapt to change and heal. So once you go through this tower moment, um, Leo, you have to heal first, and then your love soulmate, whatever, will come in. But you have to end this cycle out, whatever this negativity is. Yeah. Clock ticking. All right. You need time. So when you when this situation comes to an end after this tower moment, take the time to heal. All right. As long as it takes. I'm telling you. All right. You need to put 
This clock is all also about cycles. All right, end out this cycle and then heal. All right. So, Spirit, what does this Leo have to look forward to in love? So, so far, you're unhappy, you're stuck where at where you're at. You could be putting all your time and energy into work. But you really need to rest and recuperate. All right. You could be having some type of illness. You know, spirit, whatever it is, they had to put you in some type of timeout. Okay. Spirit, give me some messages. What does this Leo have to look forward to in love for October? So I believe that maybe October this might happen to you. You might go through this, have this sudden change, but it you have to ascend from it. You know, life is just all about lessons, learning the lessons, all right? Whatever the situation is, you have to heal and learn the lesson, all right? Let go of control issues. So, Leo, you're a bit controlling, okay? You have to allow the situation to unfold naturally, okay? Messages for this Leo and love for October. What can they look forward to in love? I'm here and I'm blessed today that I found you. So when when you end out this cycle after this tower moment happening in your life, this surprise, this sudden change, whatever's coming. Listen. You, you're going to heal and you're going to look at things from a higher perspective and you're going to attract your soulmate. Okay? But you have to let go of these control issues. All right. You go, I don't know what you're doing behind closed doors, Leo. You can't do what you, whatever it is you're doing. You have to let it unfold naturally. Okay? Messages for this Leo and love spirit, please. Thank you. Messages for this Leo and love. All right, Leo. So you need to start paying attention to the red flags. All right. So the universe is helping you through this. They're going to help you through this. Cupid's arrow. All right. The signs are conditioning you. So you need to pay attention to the red flags. Pay attention to what's going on around you. Pay attention to how you feel. All right. Once you start meditating, you get, get better within yourself. You understand what I'm saying? You need to be alert. Pay attention to the red flags that the universe is going to send you because they're going to guide you out of this situation. All right. One more message for this, Leo. Thank you. Yes, so once you go through this tower moment, then you'll be calling in your soulmate, okay? You got to get rid of whoever the snake that you are around, or it could be you and this snake energy, okay? You have to heal. If if you get got out of a relationship, someone hurt you, whatever the situation is, heal, okay? Your prayers and affirmations and visualizations help you help bring you together, all right? So once you go through this tower moment, start praying more spiritual baths. You don't know how to do a spiritual bath. Go to the ocean, okay, and pray, okay? You have to start meditating, okay? You have to go in solitude. Go by yourself. You don't need to be around no one, especially when you're healing. Heal, healing is always best done when alone, all right? And then you'll call in your soulmate, all right? Mm -hmm. 
So you want to um, meet someone that you know you can count on, even on a perfect day. All right. But you have to start thinking like this. All right. Raise your vibrations as well. I'm hearing I need somebody that will stand by me. Whoever you're with is not a good catch. All right. It's good catch in the reverse. That's the snake that whoever the snake is you're dealing with. You just wanted them to be right there. Yeah. Because this person that you're with now, they, they show you fake love. All right. Leo. Oh, my goodness. They're a bad person, Leo. Okay. Mm -mm -mm -mm. You're, you're really surrounded by a snake, Leo. But I also feel like your control issues, it's not helping the situation. We have, they want to use you. So, Leo, they only around you because they want to use you. Damn. They're cold hearted. And this is what happens when you're in a karmic relationship. This person, Leo, they was only supposed to come in your life to teach you something. They were supposed to be in your life only long enough to teach you a lesson. And, it's, you know, the universe sent them to teach you a lesson, okay? So you got to learn the lesson, close this cycle out, begin your healing process, and start calling in your soulmate, all right? So it says they miss you. You could be in separation with this person. Yeah, and look what fell over top of your calling and your soulmate. All right. You do have a secret admirer, but you have to heal. The universe is not going to allow someone you're supposed to be with to enter your life and you all fucked up. You understand what I'm saying? It's not going to go down like that. All right. So it could be someone, remember we had past nostalgia. Someone, from, I don't know if someone from your past is missing you. Or is it going to be the soulmate coming in? The secret admirer. You couldn't know this person. All right. So remember I told you the roles could be reversed. Leo, you could have this energy. You could be the one in this energy giving fake love. You know what I'm saying? For truth. Looking like a bad person. Or it could be not. You know, take the role. You, you, you know you out here minding your business, doing good, helping others. Not sleeping around, not cheating, none of that shit. Then you are with a bad person. Now, Leo, if you out here cheating and doing people wrong, this is your energy, okay? And this is not cool. You know what I'm saying? Let's get some tea. I'm hearing, can you stand the rain? So, this could go down during a storm. It could have been a bad thunderstorm or something. Some lightning involved. That you got left. Or you may meet your soulmate during a thunderstorm. Something to do with some lightning. All right. Thank you, spirit. All right, now, with this fake love and being a bad person or this bad person, all right, Leo, be careful, all right? Something is dangerous. This person could be dangerous. That's showing this fake love and that is so cold-hearted, all right? And this also has something to do with this tower moment, all right, where it's going to cause you to release a lot of anger. It may cause you to break down, all right? But you have to pick yourself back up. You know what I'm saying? It ain't how you fall. It's about how you get back up. Okay? So I'm hearing, I'll go crazy if you take your love away from me. So this person could be like possessive. I don't know if they were abusive or not, but. Yeah, this is a controlling person. Leo, You this could be your energy. Destiny, divine star crossed. All right. 
So this, this is what's supposed to happen to teach you a lesson, um, Leo. Or you had to go through this to learn a lesson. This could have happened in the spring. Or this could be next spring. When this is either going to happen or it happened this spring. So I'm hearing when you say you love me, it don't mean a thing. 2020 on the clock, as I said, that someone need to look up the angel number 2020. So I'm hearing someone's looking for the words to say to make you realize that they want you to stay, Leo. They don't want you to leave. Or this could be you. All right. Someone holding back their tears. I'm hearing I have tears of frustration. But you have the ability to make a grown man cry. All right. Or you could be this grown man wanting to cry. Holding back the tears, Leo. We'll take what flipped and keep what did not. So... This could be causing you to drink, Leo. It says drunken stupor. You can act stupid when you get drunk, intoxicated. You can hang at bars, all right? Or this could be this person, all right? This cold-hearted person. Yeah. So, I'm seeing victim. Someone feeling like they like a fucking casualty of war. They a victim. They feel attacked. This cold-hearted person or Leo, you could feel this way. You could feel like you the victim. All right, and you're drinking your problems away. All right. That's just, ooh, that flew all the way over here. But Leo, you need to believe. You need to have faith and stay in prayer. And then I tell you, you need to rest, recuperate, go in isolation, stay to your motherfucking self, and pray and heal. Okay? See, when we go through shit in our life, 2211, check that number, we go through shit in our life where you could easily take it out on the next person. And that's why spirit is not allowing this yet. Because you're angry, all right? You could be moving like a snake, Leo, okay? You're not going to get this soulmate or have this secret admirer until you rest, recuperate, pray, and get your shit together. You have to heal, all right? Message the spirit. Damn. This could be something messy. The way these cards are flying out of my hand, they're just falling all over. <laughs> okay, so we have the fall. So I don't know if this is the fall of this year or the fall of next next year. All right. Something can happen. All right. You could find out something. You could find out about this secret admirer in the fall. All right? You could have got went through this tower moment in the spring, but in the fall, things are going to get start working itself out. You could already be praying and, and you know starting to believe. Okay, something significant about the fall. Okay. We won't get the hidden truth of how they feel or how you feel, Leo. Hidden truths for this Leo's reading spirit. Hidden truths, spirit. Damn. So we have, I wish I could share my good news with you. So Leo, maybe you got some good news. And you wish you could share it with someone, or they got some good news and wish they could share it with you. All right. So, their truth, what they're saying or what they're thinking is that y'all need to just let each other go. It says we need to let each other go. All right. And it, and it's, it will be right to let each other go. Because it's a karmic relationship. Okay. Messages. Thank you, spirit. So their hidden truth is I bury myself and work to forget you. Didn't I say a little while ago you could just throw yourself yourself and work? 
All right. Drinking at work is what you do. All right. That's just what you think is, Spirit. So we have, we will be together again, but it came in reverse. This person does not want to be with you again, or you do not want to be with them again. All right, and it's, uh, it's destiny. It was, it was meant to happen that way. Two more messages, please, Spirit. Two more messages, please, and thank you. Someone wants you to meet them in the bedroom, Leo. So, this could be something dealing with sex. I love you. So, this person, they love and miss you. All right. But you need to pray. Maybe you need to pray for them. Or pray for yourself. Pray for everybody. Shit. I know exactly what I was doing. All right. So, Leo, you knew what you were doing or this person knew what they were doing to you. Okay. That shit ain't cool. All right. They did it intentionally, whatever the situation is. So, Leo, you, you need to be more passionate. A magnetic and seductive quality surrounds you at the present. Enjoy it. You could be feeling very passionate right now, Leo. Enjoy that shit, okay? I'm hearing I like having you around, so I got to put you down. Manifesting miracles, all right? So when you start your healing process, you start going to meditation. Start doing your meditation, you... You start manifesting. Do some positive affirmations. Go Google or go on YouTube and hit in positive affirmations. Matter of fact, I'm going to link a positive affirmation to this reading. It's going to be down in the description box, Leo, so you can see what it's about. You know, and it's just lifting up your um, esteem, your self-esteem and all that, all right? Your dream is soon to become reality. Trust your heart and continue to follow its guidance. Okay, Leo? Trust your heart. So once you get out of this negative karmic relationship and let go, you start manifesting in miracles, okay? Let me explain something to you. We, and I say we as a collective, all right, have to start... Healing, letting shit go. Don't hold resentment. None of that shit. Start cleansing your um, energy. All right, you have a lot of negative energy in your aura. You have to start cleansing it. Start doing things from the heart. All right. Ignite the passion, Leah. All right. Instead of being cold hearted, ignite the passion. Okay. And I'm hearing, please don't make me wait. <laughs> you need to get it together, Leo. All right. I'm hearing you're everything that I've been searching for. Your soulmate. And once you get with this person, they're going to tell you your search is over. You don't got to search no more. I said, I'm going to be here. I'm hearing don't be late to my room. So when you get your soulmate, it's going to be everything. The sex, the love they give, all right? But work on letting go of your control issues, Leah, okay? See if I can get you first, middle, last initial, some type of name, Leo. It could be your initial, it could be theirs, Okay. Spirit, can I get a first, middle, last initial or a name for the video reading? Please? Thank you. M. Now, your name will start with M or their name will start with M. Or is this the first, middle, last initial of their name? We're going to get two more cards. 
MB. All right. One more card, Spirit. What you gonna do now? So, Spirit putting a ball in your court. What you gonna do now, Leo? I'm hoping we gonna heal these issues. I'm hoping you gonna do the work. All right, call in a soulmate. All right, and with the last letter we have is the letter D. So we have M B D. It could be the first, middle, last initial of you, your partner, or your soulmate. All right, that's what I have for you, Leo. Peace, love, light, and blessings to you. I wish you nothing but the best in your future endeavors. Please, guys, like, subscribe, and share the videos. Peace.